everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because here we are making chemicals happen. Actually, I've been doing like two or three at a time. Yep, we've set up over here. I brought uh, our lovely explorer. I put the craft bot at the back and then I've done little elbows and I have chests on the side. It's on permanent queue and uh, we got to hurry up and get some more chemical uh, coal to get it turned into chemical. And this is what we're doing until we get a chemical container in the game. <laughs> it is it is what it is. If we want to build concrete, we're gonna get concrete, man. This is this is a concrete way of getting concrete. This is probably about the most efficient I can think of right now. Unless I want to bring the boxes out even further in, in front of me, but I, I didn't. I, I this is this works for now. Actually, I could probably extend those with the arms. To, now that I think about it, but that's that's my bad. Whatever. Anyway, anyway. It's, whoa. Today, I want to go ahead and start getting started, like. Uh, moving some that's kind of the idea anyway we'll get moved uh, well not really moving but prepping the area and kind of getting an idea of what how we want to build over there um which is actually in that direction over there but it is what it is i got some chemical to get i'm going to fill the entire chest up and then uh get some more work done but we'll be right back you guys well it's good to see y'all all right welcome back and um the chemical has been brought back and it has been processed i have one full box of concrete i have another full well not half a full box of concrete uh and i've got some more a little bit well there's metal in there but anyway we got that this is not the only material we're going to be using to build the base with but it's going to be one of the main ones i like the texture on it a lot and it has decent durability so that's where the the, the reasoning for that is um i think we can work some things out especially with where we're going to be building at to uh, to mitigate the incoming wall damage from from uh hay bots but we'll find out also uh, i know you guys some of you guys don't care for the testing that much on the video so i did some testing ahead of time um first thing i did was take two wa two water cannons see if they could connect to one container um depending on how i end up using them uh, we'll decide if i use in a container or not because i want to make sure there's enough water for one full cycle of this Yes, I bet you can guess what this is going to be. This is the Mark One version of the Bane Industries uh, water plot uh, thing. And uh, that's the technical name, by the way. Uh, it's, it's, it's on the paperwork, but we're going to come up with a better one for marketing. Anyway, uh, we have a five by six area that is uh, 30 plots. So 30 plots of soil. And what I've got is hooked up here. That it's hooked up is I have a two piston system. Uh, there's a sensor on top of the, this water cannon right now. And if you look at it, it's a little spaghetti because I'm just, just you know, throwing it together to see if I get it to work. So I have a switch here that's running into a XOR gate, which has a sensor on the end of the run. So uh, it's to manage the gun, like whenever it gets to the end, so it automatically comes back. And I just flip the switch and, and enable it again on and off. Also, we have another connection here, which is a, an AND gate which takes in if the, the system's activated. So if it's going along the route, along with the sensor picking up the blocks on top, it will activate the water gun and the sensor set to button. So when we press it, and I only have three rows set up right now, but it works. And there we go. And then it will continue all the way through. If I had the rest of those on the top, it would shoot it and, and water it automatically. And then when it gets to the end, the sensor picks it up and pushes it back. And is, when it goes over the blocks, it will not sh waste water. So right here, it won't shoot. So we are good to go. And once it's done, it's done. And that's 30 plots watered like that. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with the system so far. Whenever we build it at our base, we're going to make sure that the it looks a lot better than this uh, as best as we can. And um, I got some ideas how to make it aesthetically pleasing and a little bit more, uh, well, gardeny, if you will. <laughs> uh, but so if for every 30 plots that we want to do, we can throw one of these down. And as you can see, it only uses two sensors. It uses one controller, three logic gates and two pistons, including the water cannon. So it's really not that bad. Um, and depending on how we, we work it and the, and the sensors only need to be like first level because they're only going in one one space, they're only one range distance. So um, if we want to space this thing out more, we could do that too. But that's how it's working. Um, thought you guys might like that. This is the this is the planned usage. Also, with the way that the cannon's facing, it can kind of be at uh, the soil can be at different heights and it'll still hit it. So th that's the thing. That's the thing, guys. Let me know what you think of this because uh, I want I'm going to use it. We're going to make it look like I said better. I have some ideas from for some aesthetic stuff and whatnot. But now we're going to go ahead and head on over to the, where the future bases and we're going to see how the haybots like to come and attack in certain spots. Yeah, hold on. 
Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I unlocked a couple more of the dress bots uh, wardrobe. As you can see, I got the snazzy jacket to match the snazzy pants. So we look kind of snazzy. I'm just saying. It's pretty cool. Um, no new hats. We got another new shirt. Uh, two, sh Three shirts. So we got Team Broccoli t-shirt, which I don't really care for. We got the totem of a uh, hey, uh, farm bot heads. And then um, that guy, and then we got this one here. It's okay. It's actually, the, I don't care for the wide neck on it, but it's okay. But I went with this one. I put the original gloves on. We got the legs on. Uh, I didn't get any new pants, I don't think. I think I just got all shirts. Yeah, that's all I got. But I figured I'd show you that, and that's why we're rocking out the uh, the awesome. How big is the big beard? How big is the big, big beard? How about that beard? No, we're not going to go with those beards. We'll go, not, oh, no. We'll go with that beard again. Anyway, I'm gonna we're going to head over to the place. Um, and when I get back from there, we're going to go, well, when I get over there, we're going to go ahead and do some testing with soil and the farm bots. I need to grab some seeds too, again, to see which is the best spot for defenses for the farm. So anyway, let me get the stuff. I'll meet up with you. We'll be back. All right. Welcome back. And I've come to, it's about the furthest one from the water, but, uh, oh, I'm hungry. I brought, I brought some shakes. We're good. Some shakes, some Muwok shakes. All right. Uh, we have this one that is pretty much inaccessible from the ground period i'm wondering if how if they'll spawn up here then um and i'm going to spread out the soil crops let's get rid of this i'm going to spread out the soil crops uh so that they're like completely encompassing this top area uh, pretty much to see if it is a range around it um we're gonna do this one time here just to see if it'll work and how it'll spawn and then it'll help us plan some unless something super crazy happens uh we either they all spawn in the middle up here, or they, you know, some, they start falling from the sky, uh, which we don't need. We don't. We don't need farm bots um, um, raining from the sky. I'm just saying. So uh, I'll, I'll clean this up here in a second. Let's see. Uh, I brought several pro plots. Some several plots. We're gonna do this and this, and then we'll do this. I brought some lights just in case it gets dark, because it's going to get dark because they attack at night. But um, anyway, we're gonna like. Kind of, oh, two too steep oh there's something to, to note oh, okay so that's how they gauge that one but this area is rather flat and my goal is to have f uh at least four 30 space plots uh, i'm calling them plots crop plots because i'm used to it from another game but okay so what's the furthest we can get with this like over here and we we oh wait I I tried to put these on other kinds of rocks like this and wouldn't let me but now we can't okay the the ocean rocks there's uh ocean islands that come up that are made with the, these kinds of rocks we can't put soils on them so that's interesting let's put one there we're just gonna spread them out like just again to get more coverage of the area assuming like we end up building in a in a very large area well that I guess that with it forcing it to, for it not to be able to be done in um on steep lands it really makes it easier for the watering systems too and it makes sense even i wish you know in real life people terrace areas and stuff like that that's too steep okay put one there this is actually pretty good then letting us know about where we'll be able to actually have a garden at and this may seem weird but again i'm wondering if like the proximity to the plots they have to they have to spawn a certain distance from them so if that's the case, it would be kind of cheaty, wouldn't it? Well, no, that's just using the game mechanics. Shut up, tree. You're you're dead. Um, and then we'll put one over here. And then I'm wondering if it's based on the ones that are planted. So then we'll go here next to this one and just put some up like that and then um i guess i'll go ahead and plant some seeds like the unauthorized farming detected message uh i'll put one over here and then we'll put one over here and these 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 seeds i don't care about really they're just they're, they're i have so many tomato seeds it's silly and once we start doing a garden we'll have even more seeds uh so that that's kind of the point that has a little flat spot but i'm, I'm interested in seeing if they end up if you don't if you give them the option to spawn somewhere where it might be at it should be soon we should get it soon i didn't have to water it before whether it's ever spammed me so they just had to be planted all right that should be enough and i'm gonna break down the trees and just give me a little minute and i'll be right back 
Okay, there's something interesting going on here. Uh, I have not gotten the notification of unauthorized farming yet. Uh, I don't know what's up. I, 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 whenever I planted elsewhere, I didn't need to add water before. As long as I had more than nine crops or more, um, it would give me the notification. So I went and planted everything. Oh, I missed this one. Planted everything I could and watered everything I could. And I have not got a notification and or a timer I don't know if it's because everything's spread out or what, but uh, this is going to be interesting if if they don't spawn at all. I I, I kind of was hoping they would, but if they don't, because they, they don't detect it, is that is that what it is? Is there is this a bug? Um, I'd hate to build this whole thing and it's something they end up fixing uh, in the end. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, because if it isn't a bug, then yeah, this is definitely meta. I mean, because, like, this is not accessible. There's one little spot you can kind of jump up on one side to get up here. But other than that, there's no other way to get up here unless you're using st stairs, some sort of building mechanism to get up here. But, yeah, all these, like, I've won, two, three, four, five, those are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 plots are watered. And, and planted. So I am not sure what's going on, everybody. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm putting this up too so we can see. Figure we just do this instead of like like not being able to see and have to do the, the thing where I brighten up the night. But oh, okay. Uh, well, we've got a minute left. So let's see what happens in a minute. Um. I haven't got anything. <laughs> there's nothing. There, there's absolutely nothing spawning. So I'm going to have to do one more test. I'm not going to make you guys watch it. I'm going to put crop plots next to each other or soil areas next to each other and plant them and see if I get the a notification. Uh... <laughs> I have a feeling this is something that might get patched, or maybe it isn't because we are not near water, and maybe we're, we're they they you know or may, I don't know, but um, if this is the case, holy crap! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh boy! Okay, because as you can clearly see, there's five. There's this. We have enough planted and watered. I think it might be because it's spread out. I'm ho I, I don't know. Did you not get watered? I'm sorry, little guy. Here you go. Have some water on you. Oh, uh, boy. So, this is what the deal is. Um, it's interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do some more soils and planting and see what happens. Okay, well, we made it back. I've got some water. We're about to put these next to this one and see if this happens or not. There's that. We got some seeds. Just to rule out any potential thing that might happen. Are you serious? Watch, I'll do this and then it'll the game was like bugging out or something and it'll catch up. Sorry, I put the wrong one in the wrong order, I guess. Let's do this first. There we go. There we go. And then we'll water them. I think I'll get some. More. Yeah, this is this is this is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it finally showed up. Okay, so it has to be next to each other. Okay. All right. Wait, where to go? There it is. Okay. 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 So it has. To... Okay. Cool. 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 I'm gonna go and water these guys up, and then whenever the the, the time goes by, we'll come and finally see what's gonna happen. I was about to say, I was kind of worried. That it wasn't going to spawn any, um, which for some people, I guess that'd be, uh, they'd like that, but uh, that was crazy. Uh, I guess spreading them out, you could spread out your crops if you want <laughs> and um, not get, you know, well, it, that'd be interesting to, you know, I'll test that off camera sometime, but find out what the, um, how far apart they need to be before they spawn, because that, that's interesting too. Uh, if you have a wide open area, and can use like some form of an automated system to water it. So it's, the only thing you got to do is run around and plant and run around and pick up. 
that wouldn't be that bad either if you're if you're fine with that. I personally don't mind the tower defense side of the game. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go get these things up and going, and uh, we'll see what the uh, what it ends up being. You guys, you know the deal. We're gonna be back. All right. Well, oh, here we go. It's go time. Uh, I have uh, I've actually picked all the tomatoes around because I want to see if they're going to spawn over here or where they're going to spawn at. It's going to be interesting to see because usually it's a decent amount of distance away from the placement of the crops whenever we've done it before because they run in. So I don't... Oh, here they come. There's none up here. Are they all down there? Uh, okay. <laughs> sorry it's dark sorry i'm not gonna lighten up i just that's crazy man <laughs> so what have we learned today, folks? Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Uh, so, defensible versus water is a thing. So, uh, the defensive is, is max. Water is lower. But the difference between uh, having full max water availability versus defensibility is... Um, is not on par with what this is in my opinion because this is just go team go and then manage those guys down there and once we get farming we'll be able to get a spud gun and uh just pick them off you know what i mean like seriously like that's crazy i wonder if they're going to change that uh, I may, I don't know. I, I, I feel like we're, we're paying for it by having to, we're going to, to even automate like water being ran up here. We're going to have a lot of work to do, but, uh, and I don't know, I guess I would have to run with full, uh, draw distance on to see, but that, that's interesting. You guys, let me know what you think about this down below. I mean, I, I feel like this is, I, I feel like it, it seems like easy, easy mode, but you're paying for it with other things. But, um, I mean, I, and again, I don't mind the tower defense stuff, but, whoa, crap, like this, there we go, yep, hello, how you doing? Let's go ahead and clear this out, but yeah, so there we have it, alright, uh, we'll be right back. Alright, as you can see, all the soil's gone, and with my, my Mark 1 automatic waterer is gone too, also all the soil's gone, and several of the chests... Uh, I have moved a crap load of stuff over to the new spot. I'm crafting up some pieces um, for our irrigation systems, and it's going to take a lot of them. I also did a little bit of brick because I think I want to do a little bit of a walkway area around the uh, gardens to look kind of nice. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a lot of aesthetics done um, off the bat, but at least we can get something started that's there and see how she looks and then kind of go from there. Uh, but we're getting stuff done. Just wanted to show you. Uh, this is taking a long time. It's okay, though. If I had more craft bots together, I'd do it, but I really don't want to move more than one craft bot um, the, when, we, when we eventually get our base completely set up, like, generally speaking. So I'm waiting till then. Then we'll probably have about maybe four or five craft bots set up just to make a whole bunch of different crafting processes a lot faster. Um, I used to do that in Ark a lot before mods on that is just have a crap load of forges to smelt all my metal and everything. So anyway... It's kind of weird. We're kind of like in a transitional phase right now, and, um, well, I'll be back when we're done transitionalizing. All right, welcome back. Working on the system right now, trying to get something in here. Uh, I was kind of doing some aesthetics kind of a style, but I, right now I'm just trying to get, I think I'm going to function on, fun, uh, fo focus on function. I hope that is good enough for you to actually splash it right. It looks... It's, it's on there. It's on there. So, yeah, right now I'm getting the block, the top set of bars up for the blocks to trigger the sensor. Um, and as you can see, we're up two blocks higher than the sensor itself. So I'll be able to run another row out and then have a little piece come down and that sensor will pick it up and it'll drop the water on here. Um, I put down some, some brick right quick just to kind of start casing in 
a nice little stairwell area. This is a little low. It'll have to go up. I don't like the grass coming through. And I don't mind the space, how deep it is compared to that. So we'll end up putting some trim on this to make it not floaty time. I don't really care for floaty time, but right now I'm just trying to get the, the, the thing together to a degree so we can start getting stuff because we need to get spuds, guys. We need to get spuds. We need to get all the, the veggie tables and the fruits going on so we can go trade them in the trader in vast quantities uh, so we can get, like, you know, a gun maybe. We can get a spud gun. That would be nice um, at one point in our lifetime. <laughs> I'm sure some people are already yelling already like job made hurry up and get a spud gun Why have you not gotten a spud gun? It's like well, you know, we've been kind of doing stuff in baby steps But like when we do the baby step, it's actually a good baby step It's not just like a random baby step, you know, like if you're gonna step you need to make sure you step good, you know Anyway, um, yeah, this bar is gonna go up here. I'm gonna have one's gonna come across I'm gonna have a little T come down and then have that on there and I've got all the farms set up so each plot each grouping of plots you see is 30 so that is 120 um crops that we'll be able to do at one time and then with an automated water system there we go and we'll have 120 uh, because with two containers oh that's five i'm sorry i have the big boys too but we'll get it set up to where it, it fills up and it can do a round of everything and we'll just grow every single thing we've got and then we'll we'll see see how it goes but anyway i'm gonna get this one set up we'll at least get this first one set up and we'll come back you'll see it in progress how it works and um We'll be back. All right, welcome back. We got it hooked up. I got a basic thing up. This will eventually be running from water from a direction, probably from in the center, and we'll have it hooked up. Um, but let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's click the button. Yeah! Get watered! Yippers! <laughs> Ah, oh, I didn't do the last one. I gotta make it go over a little bit further. Ah, well, I, I messed up. The the sensor needs to be over just a tad bit. Then we'll do that. We'll fix that. Uh, how do we do here? And yep, we would have used. We had um three stacks in here, and the one that should have been on there. That's the only difference. Okay, it works and it's hooked up. Simple again. I mean, I don't know. I guess might not know what what's happening here, and I'll try to explain it and. You saw it if it's spaghetti, it looks good when I don't have it on. Like when it's out like this, it's it's clean, and these are, logic gates are gonna be hidden, and I'll have my controller hidden as well. And I, I don't want them. I don't want them showing. Once it's set up and good to go, it's staying like it is, and I'll be painting it, making it all match. I like the glass blocks though, put on the ends of the pipes. I think that looks really clean. I, I like how that looks. And that sensor just needs to come over a little bit further. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I'll make the uh, extension work a little bit different um, for that end, so it has a chance to get that sensor underneath. Um, I might just move the, I like the water gun, actually, the cannon underneath there. All right, welcome back. We've got a second one up, and this is the, I'm just going to go ahead and start planting stuff. We're going to do some spuds and get some unauthorized stuff going on here. And does it keep the water? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. Wait for that unauthorized thingy to happen. Is it? We'll see right here. It looks like, does it get rid of the water? Looks like it does. I don't know. We'll just we'll water it again because I, I'm I'm rich with water right now. We'll just do all spuds over here. We got those, and then I've got some of the special ones on me too. So let's throw that there. Okay, okay, and then we have these guys, and we need to get these growing so we can have extra seeds from them. To continue to grow it, and then I was figuring we could do other way. Finally, off, finally caught, caught it. Wow, good job. Your your detection system is on point. And then we have everything set up here to get watered. Yeah, I need to get watered again. Is that not amazing? <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea how long this took to get done and set up each individual piece. I had to go back several times, craft more because the pipes, you know, they don't. Yeah. And it's already set up. It's all watered. I'm also going to use some fertilizer on the good stuff. Yeah, the good stuff. And I don't mind not being able to automate this because it's that, that friendly touch. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up and close personally. You can't just... You know, you know, you gotta, you gotta say hello. How you doing? And then it's like, hey, how you doing? And then, then, then you give it some fertilizer. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm doing great. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. All right, so we have them planted. We have the automated water work, 
And look, look, look. I had oh, I forgot. I had um, I had an odd number in here. I had uh, thirteen extra ones on there. So that with like you know, we we use exactly sixty water for our sixty plots, which is great. Everything's down. We're in a position. Let's just double check and see what happens. I guess I'll probably get two waves because I started growing it so late. But that's fine. I don't want to burn up all my fertilizer. I'm going to use fertilizer on the heavy plants. Um, I believe the the higher end ones take two days to grow or something like that. So saving fertilizer only for those sounds like a smart idea and let everything else do its thing. We got spuds coming in. We got some beets. We got that. And then eventually I'll have these up. And this is not the only ones we're going to do. I'm probably going to end up trying to do... I want a, enough where we have a 30 plot for every single thing we can grow. I think I said that earlier, but I want that. And we have enough room up in this oval area to do that. And without having to go, we might have to manually plant all the seeds and stuff like that, which, but f without having to water it, that's amazing. Um, and I'll take that. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we have 48 seconds until the wave. So we'll, we'll finish on that. Um, just so you guys know, this has probably been the longest episode it's taken me to record uh, from start to finish. So I just want to let you know where, where, the, why it took so long to the episode out, because I was trying to do something good and something cool here that you guys might be able to use on your farms. Um, if you guys join the Discord um, down below, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll post a pic of this and then also draw out a really crappy schematic so you can see how everything's wired. Um, if that's something that you want to use for your own farms, I can't tell you that it's cheap. And, uh, you know, I use aesthetics. You could use just wood to get it up and going. But, you know, since we're trying to do something special here, we still need to paint and stuff. Um, I just wanted to show you that. So I'm, I'm uh, anyway, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Seven seconds. Okay, here they come. Please don't spawn up here. Please don't. Is there anything up here? Nice. Nice. Frame rate's dropping. Frame rate's dropping pretty hard. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where, whoa, whoa, don't fall. Just want to see. Where are you guys at? Not up here. That's all that really matters, I guess, right now. Okay, I can see some sparklies down there. There must be some other ones nearby, too. I guess we should go down there and take them out. Are we going to handle it? I don't know. There's a hay bot. There we go. And I'm hungry. Well, I will be hungry too much longer. We'll be eating all the time here really soon. So, um... Yeah, again, I feel like we traded off some. I mean, I have a lot of water right now, but once we burn through this managing water, since they don't let anything run if it's not in render distance, which I think is kind of stupid. Uh, I hate to say that, but I think that some of these like things that we do should run, like even not play the animations, not rendering, but background be running. Um, and some of the, also, you, you guys was wondering, why are you trying to put so many pumps on it? This is why. Because uh, if I have to go there and wait, if I have three pumps going into a chest... That means that it's three times as fast filling up, and I have to wait three times less the speed. Uh, not less the speed. Three times less the time um, for it to fill up so I can grab it and move it. So, and, and when we have it automated into a system, as we start pulling stuff, hey, look, there's one up there. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> How's it going over there, man? You doing all right? You having a good one? You driving safe? That's great. Anyway, that is the topic up for today. Guys, uh, by the next episode, I plan to have done a lot of stuff in the growth department. <laughs> and we should be able to go ahead and get some um, some cool stuff unlocked from the trader. Get a spud gun, get some other things, and maybe we can go visit a place that you guys probably really want to see. Which you probably already seen elsewhere, but you might want to see me go in there. Well, I don't know. Either way, as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.